So that we got this citrus strip and we're going to put it on our mantle and strip the paint off the brick. And we're going to show you how to do that. So this is our mantle and it's, it's a solid white. We've done a little test spot here and it's hard to tell because it's underneath but we painted in all the grooves and it's still a look there's still some there and if you wanted to wipe I think you could probably get it completely clean we just want to distress it so we're just going to paint a little bit on top of the rest of these bricks and go back and just take that off just to just but it's doing a good job we well we left it on there for about an hour uncovered mm -hmm. so we're going to paint it on the bricks and then try to distress it So it's been, I've been about 45 minutes. And so we just painted the face of the brick. That way there's less cleanup. Because we don't want it completely clean. <clears throat> we want to uh, just distress it. And my tape's coming off. And so, and this is a pretty light film. So we're just going to take uh, just any type of paint scraper or blade and we're just going to scrape the face of the brick just to expose what's underneath it. Just a little bit of distress. There's not a lot of clean. off you can see this area here has been on for I don't know several hours and it's still kind of wet, wet and tacky this is the original brick there was a you know a lot of it's bl almost black right here from the fireplace uh, so this is basically the look we're going for we just uh, put it on and scraped it off just to kind of distress it since er all the other walls are white and you need a just need something with a good sharp bl blade. We used some uh, wood chisels, but you want a a good sharp blade that way it'll it'll peel that off. <clears throat> There's still a good bit left that uh, we're hoping will dry and become brittle, 
and then we will just wipe it off or do something. <laughs> you really can't tell it when you stand back at a distance anyway. Nobody's going to say anything <laughs> when they come in. So <clears throat> there, there was an old barnwood mantle or just a cover of a facade. So we took it off and this is a solid cedar or pine and so we're going to take it outside and, and plane it down and put it back on. Also cornstarch, uh, when this stuff comes off it gets real sticky uh, like a, I don't know, like a dough or something. So if you put cornstarch on your, on your fingers and, and maybe a paper, paper towel it makes it easier about wiping it, wiping it off and getting it off your fingers. So I think if, and this was a real, a real thin coat, I think you could have really put it on thick and wiped it, clean. wiped it, just about wiped it clean. And also down here where the brick is pretty well clean, I took a wet towel and wet it a little bit and then come back and wiped it. So I think if you had a way to scrub this and keep getting water all over everything, you could really get it a lot cleaner if you wanted it to. So.